it's a little bit late, mainly due to issues and stuff. But this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 12th of March 2022. I look back, I look big, I look back on last week, which kind of completely just disappeared. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to stop saying anyway. The word or phrase of the week, refugees. Um, it's heartbreaking. And are we doing enough? We saw this coming. Uh, at some time, I think we're probably going to be, this is just going to either be a regime change in um, Russia, or it's just going to conflagrate the whole of Europe. I hope not, but I think it is going to be. It's easy to sit back and be nice and safe here, but hmm. anyway, um, app of the week, the Umbral server, which is now up and running. I'll come back to that because, you know, tech and also censorship. And the thing of the week, the thing of the week was, well, it was a big choice. There was MBO4, MBO5, or the Pelican Winter Beer Festival, which was originally in winter, is now in spring, meteorologically speaking. So the week, well, last Saturday, spring. And last Sunday was supposed to be cold, uh, but in the end, it just turned out to be wet and drizzly and cold. And um, I was coming, mm. it was the Saturday afternoon and I was looking at the Umbral plan. Umbral is a server and it's a server that sits on the Raspberry Pi amongst other things. And when the Rona first came in, I actually bought a Raspberry Pi, um, the four, four gigs and ran it. Really, that's something to do and to get to know, but not really doing anything apart from updating it every so often. And then Umbral came along. If you're into podcasting, if you're into crypto, you'll know Adam Curry um, about Bitcoin and how modern podcast apps allow you to donate Satoshis, which uh, I think is a millionth or whatever of a Bitcoin to the producers. Anyway, you do that over the Lightning Network. Uh, Umbral is a Lightning node. And, okay, I'll come back to it. But I'm downloading the whole of the Bitcoin blockchain at the moment. <sighs> um, anyway, I decided to get into that. Sunday morning, one note. No, not one note, up note. App note, which is my new note-taking app of choice. Well, it became available on Linux as a snap. Now, if you're on Linux, a lot of people don't like snap, but there is no web client, so snap it is, and it works a treat. And app note, you worked a treat during the last week. Anyway, so early on Sunday morning, uh, optimized, almost optimized uh, departure. Oh yeah, beer, cloud water, uh, pale ale. Um, I've heard this week that they are having issues. They've been making staff redundant. Anyway, back onto the subject, across the bridge, up the M5, off at junction 13. First stop, Tesco Express for tea. Yeah, long story. Um, and then um, down the road, under the Tesco, past Tesco, the Premier Inn. I should have parked around the back, but it was round the front. Uh, there you go. And I saw a sign for the book festival, which was on, but apparently it was a year ago. Into spoons. Um, I've had some issues with the cask mask app. Um, all the settings were out, so I logged out and then did a password reset. And I had a server error switch I pinged off to the Kaskmark people on a Sunday morning. They came back within an hour, said, we'll sort it out. Still hadn't done it by Thursday, pinged them again, heard nothing. 
please cast mask. I am, you know, a nice person. Anyway, um, I'd booked into the Stroud Brewery for 12 o'clock. They opened from 10 o'clock. Um, it was a bit of a way. Um, and walking, 40 minutes walk, mind you, alongside the canal, really, really nice. And the brewery itself is, well, it's a good job I booked. Although, be aware, if you do book, it's only for 90 minutes, um, and then you have to move. Mind you, uh, I booked for 12, so most people who went there for lunch were sort of moving on, and it was only the hardened drinkers there. Their beers are good. Their beers are organic. There was tons of food there. Um, they're very friendly, and their Wi-Fi, about 80 up and down, symmetrical. <sighs> If I ever go back there, I'll get someone to drive me, to be perfectly honest. Or maybe, what, take a taxi, that sort of thing. It was good. It was really good. And while I was there, getting back to Umbrel, there's an app that you can get on it called the Snowflake Tor Proxy. Tor is the encrypted browser which you use if you're in countries and things are banned and there's censorship and whatever. But even if Tor is blocked, um, there are various proxies that'll get you into it. One of them is Snowflake, runs on Umbral, by the way. Um, and the other thing you can do is if you're running a Chromium browser or a Firefox browser, you can get a extension. So I'm doing that and I'm doing my bit for um, censorship. Mind you, on the second day there, um, the power supply for my MacBook Pro, well, it kind of died. I'm not surprised because occasionally you'd plug it in and it would spark, but this time it sparked and died. Yeah, Amazon. And Anchor. <sighs> Next day delivery. Um, the Monday in Stroud, the day when it died, um, the morning in spoons which was really nice actually um lots of new cascales on um in the afternoon in the queen victoria i had the queen vic outside um a sort of sports pub i drank lager i listened to podcasts uh they had landlord there but uh, yeah it's one of those things if you don't drink enough cask the cask goes over and However, Stroud wasn't bad, uh, maybe a little bit tired, um, but the Stroud Brewery, a massive standout. Uh, Tuesday morning, um, well, Google Maps said, uh, no, no need to go back on the M5, you can go straight from Stroud to Gloucester for MB05. Um, what it didn't say was, well, the Cotswolds really are like the valleys, and the journey was like, over the Rigos. It said 20 minutes in the end it took half an hour mainly because of buses and narrow streets and blockages and all that sort of stuff but yeah I don't think I've ever been to the Cotswolds before. It's very pretty uh, but this time of year it was a bit chilly and it was a bit up and down. Anyway ah uh, right so arrives in Gloucester Mini Bino 05 which means I'm actually one Bino a month. I'm actually in May, not March. Um, and I was getting my new power supply delivered to the Amazon lockers in the Premier Inn I was staying at on the Keys side. So there for half nine, um, straight into the Regal. <laughs> They've sort of finished the town square sort of thing. Uh, they've been doing it for ages. I saw an article that says it looks a bit like a skateboard park and it's a waste of time. And I have to be honest, it kind of does. Oh, Turk's Head. I don't know if they're moving into the centre of town, but they're just along from the Regal. That's handy. Oh, um, yeah, beers. They had um, mm, Plum Porter from Titanic just come on. Boy, it was really good. Anyway, so um, on to the Pelican Inn. The beer festival didn't start until Thursday, and this was Tuesday, but there's always a great selection of beers in the Pelican. 
and some of them were actually for the beer festival and they have a live untapped updater hmm. Um, so beers and beers and beers and then back to the premiere in and watch the Apple Peak performance iPhone SE 3 yeah good value uh, new iPod A um, good value M1 chip interesting but the big thing was um, the studio edition studio version I can't remember um, of the Mac Mini looks like two Mac Minis on top of each other and a new monitor really 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 good if only I had enough money and the inclination I'd buy one but pff, the new monitor if you want a height adjustable stand an extra 400 quid you got to be joking me. Anyway, while this was on, I had a text saying your power supply had arrived uh, and it was in the locker, which I picked up the next morning, put in the six digit code, door opens, collect it. It was in a brown paper bag, everything fine. In the meantime, I got an Anchor PD power supply, a smaller version, which worked a treat, mainly because the um, MacBook Pro wasn't under load, but you know, Anchor, they're the boys. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the Wednesday, another year, a birthday. I try not to celebrate them. Some people find out. Thank you to everyone who wished me well. 59, though. That's a, that's a lot. <laughs> it really is. Um, right. <laughs> um, uh, so um, this time it was into the Lord High Constable of England. Watch quite a few videos, Marcus Brownlee and Rene Ritchie uh, about the peak performance, and then over to the Pelican again, more beers, and then back. And then Thursday, Thursday was the first full day of the beer festival, and it was supposed to start at five. In the meantime, in the morning, ordered all the kit that I needed to update my Raspberry Pi. Uh, to an umbral server, which was a one gig solid uh, state drive, a case for it, um, a genuine Raspberry Pi power supply, because um, it does suck down a lot of power and the knockoffs, which I've got, which were fine so far, mainly because it wasn't doing anything, got a bit tricky. Um, and I ordered all of that coming on Friday. Um, back into the Regal, discovered on Untapped that when they did the redesign, it looked like draft covered cask and keg. If you'd scroll to the right, you could actually find cask. UI design, if only it was a little arrow that indicated that. Or perhaps I'm just getting old, who knows? Anyway, um, Pelican, supposed to start at five, obviously it started at 12 when they opened great amount of beers, double stacking on the pump clips, um, 20 pounds for, what was it, 20 thirds, I think, or halves or whatever, tons of people there, the place was packed by about one, the only thing I don't like is sometimes, even if you are sitting in the corner, people will want to talk, um, and there's some nice people there, but I don't always want to talk, I just want to sit there and drink my beers, which I did, and enjoyed great selection oh the next one is the 9th of june already have a plan for that so friday back home it rained there were crashes on the m4 and breakdowns and all that sort of stuff but i left late enough to avoid it all um and yesterday night um the kit arrived about four o'clock uh, flashed the SD drive or the micro SD drive, put it all together, turned it on, waited five minutes. It worked a treat. I'm about 25% uh, through downloading the whole of the Bitcoin blockchain at the moment. Who knew? And remote access over the Tor network. Who knew? Um, right. Uh, this morning. Bought some compost. Um, I'm going to plant some, well, potatoes. However, no. Daytime temperatures are quite warm. 
Warmer than normal for the time of year, and I've turned the central heating off um, because save the world and save my pocket. But some of the mornings on the next fortnight, ones and twos and threes, that's frost territory. Uh, young potatoes, they don't like that. So I think we've got high pressure coming up. We've got gales today, but I think it's going to be cold of a morning. And there you are. That's my week. Um, basically, beer and tech and Apple and Unix and things breaking down and too many beanos. It's been good times. So, yeah. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you again.